This is Twit. The big one for me is the Ingenuity Mars helicopter, which has been an amazing program. Uh, it, they they wanted at least one flight for like 30 seconds. They would have been happy with that. Yeah. The baseline they hoped for was five flights, which they passed eons ago. And now we're at about uh, 15 times that at 72 flights. But alas, it's had its last flight. Tell us why. That's right. That's right. The uh, the Mars Ingenuity helicopter uh, will fly no more. Actually, just the day before you and I are recording this, uh, late in the afternoon, NASA announced that uh, due uh, to some rotor damage, it, it, this r- tiny little uh, helicopter drone has these these two these two rotor blades on it to keep it aloft uh it, it will it can't fly anymore uh and uh and sadly they they learned about it this week but a lot of this happened last week as we're recording this when uh, nasa lost contact with the 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 helicopter during its 70 second flight like it just went right. it like disappeared and uh, what they think happened is something happened to the to the helicopter maybe on its way down or whatnot but it it has this kind of landmark based navigation system it looks for things like rocks and stuff and say okay that's where i am uh and apparently it was just flying over a really boring part of mars and there was nothing bland they called it like featurelessness of it and because of that it got confused and it it went into like a auto land sequence and either it experienced like a power dropout on the way down and then crashed or uh, on after touching the ground, it's it maybe it was a little bit bumpy or on a tilt. It's rotors uh, hit the ground or something. It had some kind of an impact and it damaged about half at least uh, of one of the two foot along rotors. And that's really bad because the atmosphere on Mars is super, super thin. We've got a, if, if for folks on the video, we've got a picture of the damaged rotor now. They know this because they can see the damage in a shadow of the rover, of the rotor on the ground. So they know that it's damaged. And because the atmosphere of Mars is so, so thin and the blades spin so fast, uh, it messes up the balance and the, the, the helicopter can't fly anymore. So uh, the upside is it's not dead. Uh, NASA can talk to it, and it, but only as long as the rover is in range. Only as long as, as Perseverance, it its, its parent yeah. rover, is in range. So they're going to study study the systems on board, kind of use it again for for the the engineering science until Perseverance has to pack up and leave the area, and they eventually lose contact with uh, with Ingenuity. Uh, but like as you mentioned, Rod, uh, its first flight was in uh, in uh, what April of uh after the the landing in right. in 2021 april 2021 i think was the first flight um they they had until may to get those five flights in they got 72 in three years uh and in fact they kind of modified this this is just a technology demonstrator they didn't know if it would ever work and now they've proven that they can fly helicopters on other planets they've greenlit uh, the Dragonfly mission to Titan based on the success that they saw here. And that's a nuclear powered helicopter. Uh, and two of these similar types of tiny drones for the Mars sample return mission. And uh, although, of course, that budget. But they're going to be out. bigger because those are actually retrieval drones. Uh, right. Yes. Yes. But we, it's it's still like they, they were they were on the mission, but now they're really looking at the budget. Yeah. And we don't know if they're going to make. Well, it. There's, but, yeah. But they all lead back to this this one. Right. helicopter which which almost never got put on the rover in right, the beginning is, and this is the uh, pathfinder of of planetary helicopters e- right e- exactly and it just like everything jpl builds and i know that you're an alum right from from the the the, the folks that work there yeah. uh they dared mighty with this one and they they hit it out of the park so uh you know rip ingenuity <laughs> we will miss you uh and uh, uh but i think we learned a lot from this we got we got aerial pictures of a rover on mars from this uh, this 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 little drone and we got pictures of the first flying thing on another planet as well from the the rover watching its little drone fly around so uh, just an awesome awesome mission overall and just a couple other points that came out of the press conference yesterday. I wasn't on in the question queue, so I was glad they got asked in my stead. So one of them was, of course, 
can it still fly with that damage? And as you point out, it can't. And the speed of the rotors is, I believe, something over 2,600 RPM, which is yeah. fast. Yeah. So when you get something that's got an offset balance like that slinging around, it's it's going to be more like a slingshot than, than a helicopter. So that's not going to work. And as was pointed out, however, there are no science instruments on this thing. It was just an engineering study, really. There's a camera, yeah, and and you know the altimeter and stuff. It needs to 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 come back down and a process microprocessor, a retail microprocessor out of a <laughs> cell phone. Um, but there's not science instruments, so they're not going to be losing anything particularly noteworthy once they drive away because it's crippled. I mean, if it could still fly, obviously that's something you want to do. But because it's now groundbound, once they drive away in a matter of weeks or months. Uh, it's no harm, no foul, you know? Yeah. So I hope they it's, name yeah, it's okay. its, la- its final landing site, uh, you know, something fun, you know, like how uh, Malik Pat- Memorial bluff or something. Hey, that's, like that. that's, that's got a nice ring to it. I got a couple of stats just really quick, uh, just so that we can close it, close it out. But we, we talked about 72 flights over the last three years. Um, that's a total flying time of 129 minutes, right. uh, for this little solar powered drone. It covered about 11 miles, uh, of ground as it as it flew around, uh, according to its flight log, and as you mentioned uh, uh, about the and it weighed about four pounds. If anyone is is wondering, a very very small uh, kind of a thing, and uh, if it had tried to fly. Uh, because it was so balanced and it has to spin its rotors so fast, uh, it would most likely just rip itself apart. The rotors would fly apart uh, coming off because they they would be so off balance is what NASA said during the call last night. Hey, if you enjoyed this clip, be sure to check out This Week in Space. You can find us on your favorite podcast app or see the link in the description below. See you there.